Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Activos. In today's tutorial, we are going to see what are the Activos APIs and SDK. Why we need this APIs and SDK? Assume you are developing custom workflow using Activos Designer, then we need you need to have these SDKs or APIs so that you can customize your workflow as per your business requirement. Now the next question is, how can you get those APIs? These APIs are freely available. You can download as like the Informatica MDM documentation. Either you, you can have the Informatica account. It is not necessary you need to have required the license for this SDK. You can download with no license. So it is freely available. What are the website and what this actually SDK contains? We are going to see that in today's session. So in order to download the ActiveOS APIs or SDK, you can go to this website www.activos.com devsdks.com.activos.api.zip and it will download one zip file. And that zip file will look like this. It, it has the com.activos.api.zip. What this zip file contains? We are going to see that shortly. The Activos SDK that is also stand for Software Development Kit. It actually provides various APIs for admin, administration activity or it could be other services like identity services etc. It includes common libraries, resources, some sample code also. It also have the documentation. So you don't have to worry about how can we do. You can just download this file. It has the documentation also. You can go through, you can read those documentation for developing your custom workflow. Now, what are the folder this zip file contains? This zip file contains dot setting file, which is normally a Java project file. So whenever you import this zip file in your designer, because the Activos designer is based on the Eclipse, which is a Java development environment, uh, using this dot setting file Eclipse or the Activos designer determines it's a Activos project or it's a Eclipse project. And that's the reason this file is required. We don't need to use it is just for the maintaining metadata for a project. Then it has the, the next folder called as admin SDK. This is for the Activos server administration API development. It contains operation to communicate between the server. Then we have the additional folder called as common. So if you have any external jar files which you need to use in your project, you can keep in the common folder. It is a Java dependencies to build and run time for Java WS that is sorry JAX WS that is a web service methodology clients. Identity service we know that Activos contains various services and one of that is identity service. Identity service are maintained in this identity service folder. It contains operations to get users and groups stored in a member directory of course that is tied to Activos services then we have the source folder wsht 4 j folder xml json binding folder so let's and you can see the corresponding description also mentioned here you can go through that i particularly trace here the wsht 4 j it is the Activos Web Services Human Task API. So, if, uh, particularly we need this. The reason is whenever we develop any custom workflow, it not it is not necessarily you're developing the normal system workflow. You might need to introduce a human task. And in that case, when you develop in human task, this is this API is going to help a lot. The other JSON API is also available in the XML JSON binding. You can have a look in that too. So let's go ahead and see more details in actual downloaded zip file. 
so I just downloaded zip file and right click and did the extract and I got this folder so as I said it contains the settings file dot apt generated you can ignore it is generated uh, because of the zipping uh, dot setting it is to determine Eclipse project admin SDK contain server administration API let's go ahead and see inside this admin SDK it contains a doc as I said each folder has its a documentation so you can just open it and you'll see the more details it's a documentation it has the library folder which contains the the active or specific jar files as well as the external jar files external jar files here you can see the HTTP jar JAXB, XJC, JAXWS tool and other we don't need to study all those those are the kind of technology itself but it's good to have some idea about that and here are the some source example you can open this file in the Eclipse also then after this admin SDK we have the common as I said the common is like if you have any external jar file you can keep it here so and you can leverage during its uh, runtime the files such as activation AE underscore RT and other jar files such as JAXB API or SAS API so all external jar files you can put here and you can use those after common we have the docs it's overall docs like documentation uh, right now this is empty but what I have done they have segregated the documentation to individual project so we just saw in one of the activos SDK folder for identity service we have the distribution it's kind of build API uh, identity service jar then it has its own documentation as I said documentation is segregated for each project what are the libraries used if any if this project uses any external jar files it is kept inside this project but currently this project is not in any external the source files are maintained here source files are mostly java files because it's a java project it has the visdel that is the web service definition you can see the AE identity service so everything is a web service that's the reason you are able easily communicate with this ActiveOS components so we saw this API uh, let's go back we have the examples also if you want to see the examples visual location is here uh, you can keep the visual location outside it will appropriately uh, load during its project deployment visual import these are the visual import definitions you can run this if you are running on the uh, windows system you can execute this bat file to see the vis visual import utility and finally it has the build.xml to build the project that is the identity service library if you are any using any libraries you can put there then orchestration it contains the admin SDK it contains human task demo and it contains the identity service like it has a BPR file business processing archive so we'll see one by one in upcoming session so individually itself these are they are the project which you can use the source examples also we have the WSDL human task related activities which we just saw like this WS S, sorry WSHT4J folder which contains the human task activities it has examples you can deploy those examples and see what it contains similarly we have the WS import and other files such as XML JSON binding this is for active was XML JSON API and normally it contains documents and samples for the HTML for building using active was central technology we know that there are two components of ActiveOS ActiveOS console that is for administration and ActiveOS central for uh, business user to man manage the task in a informatica world we are not using those normally we use the IDID application to manage the task so it has ActiveOS central template it also has docs and the other components such as some other examples so these are the things available in this folder what else it contains it contains the dot class path 
So when you import this project, you need to set the class path. And that's the reason class path is required. Dot project is required to import in the Eclipse environment, or we can say the Activos designer. It has CSS to render the HTML files properly. If you remove that, your HTML file will not render properly. You can go to the read menu, you'll see the similar kind of page which had the, this information. Uh, I hope this tutorial is going to help you if you are using Activos Designer. If you are not using Activos Designer, you can safely ignore this tutorial. Uh, I hope you are enjoying Activos tutorials. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a nice time.